Hello everyone. Today we have selected a very special question which is from recent exam and it's a difficult question and this question is specifically for uh, A star students, the students who are targeting for highest grades they should uh, go through these type of questions and in this question uh, very specific very less information is provided and there is no diagram also and plus uh, this is a six marks question so let us go through this question and I will try my maximum to explain in detail so that you can tackle this question also and similar type of other questions also so if we go to the question a b c d is a trapezium with a b parallel to d c a is the point with coordinates minus four and six and b is the point with coordinates two and three d is the point with coordinates minus one and eight so these three points of the trapezium are provided and additional information they have provided that the trapezium has one line of symmetry this is very important piece of information which we'll be using and another information they have provided that the line of symmetry intersects cd at the point e and our target is to find the coordinates of this point e and we need to show the work for that one so to understand this question first of all we need to understand where these these three points are located and i'm drawing rough drawing and this is like the coordinate axis and if we try to understand like this one is the coordinate axis first point is minus four and six if we take minus four and six like uh, point over here we can take minus four and six and we can write on the coordinates as well so minus four and six and the second point is two and three so two and three will be we can take two and three point over here like this one two and three because two will be positive side and three will be up also so this is how we can figure out and the third point is minus one and eight so minus one on this side and eight above so we can roughly take over here this will be minus one and eight so these will be three points locations and then we can join basically this point with this one which is if i write on the points this is point a and this is point b and this point is d c point uh, we don't have so if we join this one it will be it will be like this will be the point and then they are saying the other line will be like this will be over here and the line of symmetry is is like this one if we draw uh, just a line of symmetry will be like uh, this line will be if we draw the line of symmetry line of symmetry will be like this one so uh, we need to find this will be the midpoint and this will also be basically this will be point e for which we need to find the coordinates and what will be our target this this line this line if I if I extend this line this line we can call it as line of symmetry LS and the other line which is this one we can call it as line DC so this will be our what will be our strategy our strategy will be we will find this midpoint M between AB and also we will find the gradient of AB and dc line will be having same gradient as ab because these two are parallel to each other and then we will find the equation of line dc and equation of line lc and then we will uh, equate them to find the coordinates of e 
so this will be our strategy now i am uh, raising this question uh, this uh, uh, working whatever rough working i have done so what i have done for your better explanation i have drawn a scale proper uh, exact drawing and it's over here i will go through this drawing now and this will be very helpful helpful for you for your understanding and this is uh, a line of symmetry this is line of symmetry this is point a which they have mentioned as minus four and six this is point a and then next is two and three is this point which is b point which they have mentioned over here and then they have given minus one and eight which is point d so point d is over here which is minus one and eight so this point this point and this point these three points are given and first of all we will f we will find the midpoint of a b and if we join a b this will be line a b and we need to find the midpoint of a b which we can find here i have given the coordinates of uh, m uh, exact value but we will find and show working so we, we you know how to find the midpoint so midpoint say this is m m will be coordinates of a which is mine x coordinate of a plus x coordinate of b which is 2 and divided by 2 and similarly y coordinate of a which is 6 plus y coordinate of b which is 3 divided by 2 so this will be the midpoint which is m if we simplify we can simplify with the help of calculator and this is basically the calculator which we can use and this is uh, minus 4 plus 2 will be minus 2 divided by 2 so it's simple so we can write minus 1 and for this one it will be 6 plus 3 by 2 which is 9 by 2 which we can write 4.5 so our coordinates of midpoint m will be minus 1 and 4.5 if you check here exact diagram is also showing minus 1 and 4.5 so uh, next thing what we can do is we can find the gradient of line a b gradient of line a b will be we will apply gradient formula so m of a b will be equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and y2 is what we can take 3 minus 6 so it will be 3 minus 6 divided by will be 2 minus minus 4 and this will be equal to minus 3 over this will be 6 and so this is equal to minus 1 by 2 is uh, gradient of uh, uh, gradient of a b gradient of a b is minus 1 by 2 and we know that this line which line line of symmetry is perpendicular to line a b so this line of symmetry will be having uh, gradient so gradient of the line of perpendicular to a b perpendicular to a b will be equal to reciprocal and change sign of this minus 1 by 2 it will be 2 so reciprocal and change sign is resulting to 2 now we have gradient of uh, a b line and gradient of line of symmetry also and we have uh, m midpoint which is both on line of symmetry and we can use this uh, to calculate the basically to find the equation of the line of symmetry so line of symmetry we can find so line of symmetry we will find here and line of dc basically we will find so both lines we will be finding so we for uh, line of symmetry we can write the equation like y minus this is equation of line in uh, point slope form y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 and we can make a line in between and this will be 
uh, point is what point on line of symmetry we can take this midpoint which is uh, on uh, line of symmetry so minus 1 and uh, 4.5 will be the coordinates and we can uh, take the gradient which is 2 into x minus minus 1 and the second will be my y minus 4.5 and further we can find the equation we will simplify this so it will be y minus 4.5 is equal to this will be 2 into x plus 1 which is resulting to 2x plus 2 so our equation will be uh, y is equal to 2x plus 2 and plus 4.5 so final equation will be y is equal to 2x plus 6.5 this will be equation of line of symmetry now equation for line of uh, DC also we can find and that equation will be line of DC for line of DC we have this point D is provided and the gradient will be same as AB so AB gradient is minus 1 by 2 so again we will use the equation in point slope form so y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 and this gradient will be minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 here and x minus the coordinates of uh, uh, coordinates of d will be minus 1 and 8 so we can write here minus 1 minus 1 and 8 will be y minus 8 and now we can simplify this it will be y minus 8 is equal to minus 1 by 2 x and this will be plus 1 again multiply by minus 1 by 2 so this will be now we can uh, shift this minus 8 also to other side so y will be equal to minus 1 by 2 x minus 1 by 2 plus 8 and minus 1 by 2 plus 8 will be 7.5 so equation will be y is equal to minus 1 by 2 x plus 7.5 so we got this basically trapezium if I join this line also so line of symmetry is this this is line of symmetry which you already I have mentioned with ls now we need this point which I have already indicated here uh, because I have drawn this from uh, software so I will find this point how we can find this point e we will equate the equation of ls which is line of symmetry and line uh, dc which is this one line dc so we will equate these two equations to find the coordinates of e so we will be equating this on the next page and this equation if i copy from here so one equation is this one second is this so 2x plus 6.5 is equal to minus 1 by 2x plus 7.5 and to get rid of this denominator we can multiply everything by 2 so 4x plus 13 is equal to minus x plus this will be 15 and further simplification 4x plus x will be equal to 15 minus 13 which is equal to 2 so 4x is 4x plus 1 x will be equal to 5x 5x is equal to 2 so x will be equal to 2 by 5 which we can write in decimal format also which is 0.4 so x value is 0.4 and we can find the y value we can replace in any of these two equations I am replacing in this one which is 2x plus 6 y is equal to 2x plus 6.5 plus 6.5 in this equation we will uh, replace the value of x so y is equal to 2 into 0 0.5 plus 6.5 and this will be equal to if we replace this 2 into 0 0.4 plus 6.5 is resulting to uh, 7.3 so y is 7.3 so the coordinates of point e are 
zero point four and seven point three and this is a six marks question you can see this is six marks question so uh, again if i just go through quickly uh, i'm just going through the strategy of the question the given information is only these three points which they have given so we first understand where these points are located and after understanding these points which are located over here this is point a this is point b and point d are given so then what we have done first of all we found the gradient of this line a b which will be same gradient will be for this line as well which is ldc uh, line dc so y will be same because both are parallel lines and then we will be taking the gradient of uh, line of symmetry as the reciprocal and change sign of the line AB or line DC. So after finding the, both the gradients, we, we found the midpoint, midpoint of AB, which is this one. And then uh, we equated the two equations, which two equations we equated? We equated line of symmetry equation and line or dc and we know that these two lines are intersecting at this point which is e so we um, after equating we got the coordinates which is 0 0.4 x coordinate and 7.3 which is y coordinate which is same as this software is telling us so this uh, drawing is very helpful i think so so you understood this question go through these type of questions i'll be uploading uh, more recent and difficult questions for uh, uh, your understanding and help thank you very much for watching and recommend this channel to your friends and introduce this channel to your respective teachers thank you very much for watching take care bye